siz mi? Yani sen çünkü yani kamera teyaret bize PhD student hmm. working with me. He's a very capable PhD student. Hmm. And he decided to look at some threshold systems recently. And the question he had in mind was, everybody's using shaman sequence shading. When they use uh, threshold cryptography. For example, when someone wants to share an IC <coughs> signature, they always use shaman sequence, which is very elegant scheme and very suitable. But we wondered this question, can we do the same things with other uh, other sequence sharing schemes? And there is this less known scheme, which is also a non sequence sharing scheme. And we try to do the same things, uh, which everybody is doing using shamers. We try to do the same things with our non sequence sharing. Uh, so this is a brief overview of our non sequence sharing. It's an extremely simple idea. I don't try to read everything on this slide. It's not feasible. But what they do is, we have this secret to answer. We, yeah, we have this secret why. And we give everybody a modulus, and one to the first uh, participant, and to the second, and so on and so forth. And everybody's share is this: the i pi takes y mod and y. So if enough people come together, they can construct it using Chinese remainder theorem. So we use these modulus, moduli, such that if n t of them come together, then the combined modulus is large enough so that they can get to the amount. But if t minus one or fewer of them come together, then the number is too small and they cannot get the real number, real y. Uh, so this is roughly the idea. Of course, I and mean, if t minus one people come together, they, they cannot get the real number y, but they can get some information about it. So we don't use the whole thing y, we use just to the fraction of that y, which is called d. d is the LSA <coughs> private key to it which is mixed with a random number, and y is the secret we share using this scheme. Um, well, right. Okay, so the problem here is, let's say we have this number y, which has to be reconstructed when we want to do an LSA signature. So the reconstruction procedure is like this. This is known as the Gaussian number. <laughs> the yi is the shape of the i guy and it's a linear combination of these yi, so it's very suitable to do RSA uh, signature. The i uh, computes w, w is the message here, w is the message, so the i computes the i uh, partial signature, we call. So w to the yi with some extra stuff. Uh, well, of course, this has its challenges, yeah. Okay. No? No. And the problem is, if you do arithmetic like this, I mean, the reduction in the modulus is always phi of n, right? It's always phi of n, the reduction in the modulus. So, how can you get uh, this modulus, which is a function of the current correlation, how can you get it in the exponents? Well, it is on a constant thing, and Kamel found a very long way of doing it. I'm not going to go through the details, but this is the publications here so far. We had one paper in information sciences, an upcoming paper in Africa Crypt. And the basic scheme is not, it was not proven secure, then he made it proven secure, and then he had the robustness into it, and then verified it, and other things. All right, and I'm over. Thank you.